Welcome to CA Frost, home of the Cougars. This is our Cougar Creek. The promise that I pledge is not to be broken, for the message it bears is to be meaningfully spoken. Care for others, encourage your peers, support other people, kind words cover fears. We all live together in peace and respect. The environment too is our friend to protect. Uh, our problems are solved without a fight, the responsibility to do what's right. Remember forever our I kind deeds. Follow this pledge because it's our Cougar Creed. Every time we have B-Lab, it'd be nice to get away from the buildings. Let's play bucket bowling out in nature. Look at your shadows, they're following you. CA Frost is a proud Grand Rapids Public School. It's one of their theme schools that's actually been around for quite a while, but in different ways. Um, CA Frost became a school 18 years ago but we became the environmental theme school seven years ago when we um, merged with Hillcrest Environmental School. We are now a K through eight, serving children from ages five to 14 from all over the city of Grand Rapids. Um, every age, every grade, we serve students with um, disabilities, with learning disabilities, emotional disabilities, autism spectrum disorder, we have kids from different faiths, different cultures, different socioeconomic backgrounds, which makes us truly one of the most diverse schools in all of Grand Rapids Public. Our curriculum here at CA Frost is different in that um, we take the regular Grand Rapids Public School curriculum, which includes the reading, the writing, uh, you know, the different literacy blocks there as well as the science and the everyday math component that Grand Rapids is using and the social studies and then we incorporate the environmental science studies into that and so the students get, in addition to the regular curriculum, they get a lot of integrated environmental studies. You have to choose an endangered animal that nobody else has chosen. We have to study it. We have two different graphs. Okay. I chose population. We have all native plants here in the garden area. We partnered with the National Wildlife Federation. So um, they gave us money to plant native plants here. So the kids and I researched what kind of plants were native here that would go in a garden area for us, what kind of trees, and we planted them, we put in the fences to try to keep people out. I think if you're here, you're going to be involved. Um, the principal does a great job of making sure that parents feel welcome here. I mean, there's never a time where you can't drop by and, you know, be able to sign in and go visit, go see. You always feel like that this is your place to be. Well, we, we feel like we're a needed part of the staffing of the school and a welcome part of the staffing. So it's a great experience to have our own garden, like our school backyard. It's like not most of the schools get to have that. So that's a really experience that I'm happy, happy to have. I was very impressed my first week of David coming to CA Frost, of the family atmosphere, the parent participation, the way the teachers were investing in their students. I moved into the CA Frost area two years ago to make sure that my kids would always be here. I like that, that, that school is such an integral part of their lives right now. I have two seventh graders still here. And um, this Frost has been such a big part of that. They've been here since kindergarten. So this is the only school they've known. The fact of us being able to go camping at the northern tip of Michigan State going camping, uh, a new experience that something that most, most most schools don't have, like going be able to go skiing for my first time. It's a new experience. I think our strengths are our people. We have families who care. 
the families choose to come here. They fill out an application, they research the school, and they make sure their kids get here. Um, so our families are absolutely a strength. Our kids want to be here. The staff is absolutely outstanding. I'm a single mom with six kids. Five of my children are adopted and they're special needs. And one child in particular, I love Frost for because Frost could have easily moved into a different school to be, you know. But Pam and Frost decided to keep him and they came up with a curriculum just for him so he wouldn't be lost in the system. And because of that willingness to go above and beyond what is acceptable and really meet the needs of that particular kid, even if it meant just stretching me or stretching themselves, and their willingness to do it, that's what impresses me about Frost. And he's much, he's an 11th grader now, and he's much more successful now because somebody took the time to do the last